Hello again everyone, we are playing Final Fantasy IX and the TV is very loud. Um, there we go. So, over, possibly. Um, I don't remember there being a whole lot of save points in there, so I may have to just um, get this done all in one go. Um, wish me luck. <coughs> Um, I mean, look at it. Look, has nothing to do with it, right? Um, okay, now well, some helpful tips there in the walkthrough. Oh, it's good to read one. <laughs> oh, hello. We have a saving wheel right here. Okay. Mark shop. I'll take one of those. Yeah, one of those. So oh, yeah, I have one of those. Um, one of them things. Separate pipe. Huh. Why is it named pile and not pole, I wonder? Whatever, maybe we're not meant to know. Band. Ah. Uh. Oh, well, I could have meant uh, to say this. Right? I have a lot of potions. Um, or stuff will pretty much as well as I call. Or, or, or. There we go. Oh wow, I have a lot of ores. Okay, back to buy um, <clears throat> things. A dark half a ring, day green something. Judo uniform. I think we'll find those actually. Or one anyway. Ah. Ah, well, whatever. I'll just uh, leave it at that. Uh, before this episode, by the way, I went and found uh, Jabberwock. Jabberwocky, yeah, I'm not sure about the name of the other thing. Anyway. Um, they gave me a number of abilities, so that's nice. Um, right. Listen, trees over and done with. Um, actually, no. Um, abilities. Let's see. Jelly and locomotion. Not going to be key. Antibodies are really that big a concern. Also, man eater and bird killer. Yeah, I guess we can do without the uh, status. Trade off damage. doesn't have a whole lot of abilities yet. But we're getting there. That Jabberwocky was very helpful in that respect. Hmm. 
Well, maybe if you would just say open, like some other fantasy franchise I've been hearing about. Hmm. Speaking of other, well, a particular other <laughs> fantasy franchise, um, if someone uh, missed it, uh, apparently they made a uh, UHD remaster of um, Lord of the Rings, the entire trilogy, possibly all the uh, Hobbit movies and like, um, yeah, so that's a thing that exists if you like, want it or anything. Oh, right, I have not actually uh, set up my equipment. Oh, the uh, thievery, by the way, uh, at this time deals about uh, two and a half thousand damage. Not too shabby. them at long last hmm. really wow uh, oh look at that um, yeah is it, uh, there's a bunch of craziness in the walkthrough here about um, preparing for some synthesis later on I'm not gonna bother. I do not have the kill for it, and um, I'm just not gonna try for it either at this time. Okay, so uh, the walkthrough actually t tells you to um, ignore the chests that I just opened. Oh, another save mobile and you. Okay. among the central and complete. Okay. Um, another coupon uh, nut, I guess. Second piece of Gaia gear. Um, let's see who else can equip that. Garnet can, not exactly uh, well spent on her. But it is a thing she can use. Okay. This is true yet. Not really. How would you know though? It looks just like a stained glass to me. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was a fight against uh, an epitaph, and um, I don't mind telling you that reminded me 
of this little ability. Should probably have been using that. Okay. I think we're good for now. Didn't need to buy a diamond sword. Okay, so this just randomly happens out in some ruined location. And see, Dan can just read this straight away. Very well educated for a thief, maybe? Oh, another shield log. Good one. And in a very Final Fantasy IX experience, um, Amaranth hits Trance just at the end of the fight. And you didn't get to make it a move with his Trance on. Um, delightful. Um, yeah, a few people gain a level. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. We need to take you. Then we can um, watch the story, I think. Uh, speaking of ancient, um, the invincible that we are being introduced to here uh, was the airship featured in one of the first three Final Fantasies. I don't remember which one exactly, but the uh, design is um, well, closely derived from that one, from that old Nintendo game. Huh. It's not easy to navigate uh, this this walk mesh with an, with an analog stick when the uh, game was set up for a uh, for a D-pad. Hmm. 
I have to admit, this is, for me, one of the cooler parts of the game. Uh, and we're just, uh... Yeah, you're in something... Uh, we're just presents you with the idea that you are in something a whole lot bigger than you had ever imagined. Um, Terra. So, maybe you recall that uh, we have been introduced to the world we are on as Gaia. Well, here's a world named Terra, and all of this uh, comes from uh, there, pretty much. So, um, how did that stuff get here? That's a question I don't believe they'll ever answer. Could be this is just a uh, kind of a spaceship, like in, uh, you know, Prometheus, the original alien movie, uh, or um, uh. Things just got translocated, or uh, the boundary between worlds is a bit faint, as they say in the... Oh, is it the Dark Tower, actually? Well, I don't mean to disparage the Dark Tower, I do like those books. Um, right then, let's see, where are we? We are here, we are there, we've done that, and this and the other thing. Uh, okay. And now for some more exposition. Uh, this is a creepy place. I won't tell you that much. Freya agrees with me. Freya is good self insert. If they wanted to evoke some uh, Xenogears imagery with this. Which is all very gloomy. You kind of wonder what it is supposed to mean, right? I mean, I have played the game before, so I know where the story goes. I'm just um, trying to connect the dots. to save the game and uh, <sighs> get ready for a good old boss fight.
it seems I misremembered what the uh, uh, what this place was like and uh, how many uh, save points we would find ourselves at. Uh, do we need to tent? Uh, Doink's not doing too good on MP, but we're not using MP anyway, so... Ah, what the hell. Uh, this fight can be quite... quite a handful, actually, if you're not uh, properly prepared. Uh, speaking of... Uh, let's just... Do this bit first, and then uh, equip ourselves. Yeah, what does the text say, Mr. Man? Okay, so, pro tip from uh, the walkthrough uh, bitty thing here. Uh, let's keep the bird killer. I believe this next thing counts as a bird. Uh, we will need clear headed. We have that, that's good. I'll just slap a mug on you, because it's fun. Uh, you have clear header, that is good. Level up, ability up. You know, we don't need that. What did I just do? That was dumb. Anyway, bird killer is a keeper. Man eater, I guess we can uh, drop for now. Um. Bright eyes for this. Hmm. Nah, yeah, well, let's not uh, take any chances. You don't have a particular, so whatever. Bump your hit points. I think we're gonna have to. There's probably not a whole lot to choose from. Okay, that's uh, not great. Absolutely not great. Well, there's Lamius Tiara. That's a good thing. No, wait, no, no. That would just cause trouble. Good against Shadow. Uh, I don't like what that does to our defense stat, but uh, it does reduce wind damage. Uh, ah, that's a 20. I think I'm gonna go that back. 
I mean, we can live without the, uh, without the, um, points into that of the lake, I guess. Okay. Oh, right, and, um, you. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? Elemental attack wind, probably a bad idea. Let's just see. Huh. Are you kidding? So it has wind attacks, but its elemental weakness is wind? Hey. Kaiser Knuckles. Go. <laughs> Seriously, man. Take this just for this fight. And we'll see. What else can we equip? Nothing on much use, but uh, Gamble Defense is never a bad choice per se. Okay, just slap a man on you for good measure. Okay. I think I will end the episode here, and in the next one, um, we'll see if I survive. See you soon.